In this movie, we're going to discuss report performance. Throughout the previous lessons, I've hinted at report performance issues. Now in a training course and on a test database, it's often hard to illustrate these facts on the screen. And a lot of it is going to be, for lack of a better word, trial and error. However, if you know ahead of time that you're hitting a large amount of data, you can prepare yourself. You can also measure your report performance via tools available in Crystal Reports 11. Go up to the report menu. And in this case, we're just continuing along with the last report that we used. And if I scroll down, the last choice I have is performance information. This pulls up my performance information window, and right now looks a little bit bleak. But this has a whole bunch of useful information that can help you when creating reports. One is the report definitions. This tells you number of database fields used, in this case, eight. The UFL stands for user fields in use, means none, it means we've created no custom fields for us to pull into the report. There is no page in of MNUs, and the file format schema is Crystal Reports 11.0.0. You can also get to the save data, which gives you a whole new set of metrics. And here are some processing functions that tells you what Crystal is doing. Is it grouping on the server? Is the sorting done on the server? Is the record selection done on the server? You can also scroll over so you can see the full descriptions. The latest report changes points through a list of items that were changed since the last time it was saved. In this case, we had recurring database fields changed, report groups changed, the print time formulas changed, and pretty much everything else changed because we had a whole renamed table and had to re-import a whole bunch of new fields, much like we were creating a report from scratch. The most important thing, last but not least, is performance timing. From here, just opening the document, the save document, has a value of zero milliseconds. Once you hit an actual database and pull data back, you'll see more values. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and hit my refresh button, refresh my report data, and pull it back. From here I go straight to my report, performance information, go straight to my performance timing. The performance timing is best pulled immediately after you have successfully refreshed the report to the database. Once you hit save, it pulls up a whole new set of metrics which just revolve around saving the report, which usually doesn't take that long. It's also expressed in milliseconds, which means you divide by a thousand and you would get 1.54 seconds. Not bad, but then again, we have a real small data set. If you're working with a very large set, I guarantee you this number will be bigger. This is also good because it helps you understand the performance of your reports and you can attach an actual metric and number to it. If something's taking too long, you may need to recode or relink or perhaps make it smaller or just pull a smaller set of data. A lot of it depends on how much your database server can actually handle. This performance information actually helps you achieve that goal and gives you a good ballpark measure of how much resources it's going to take and how long it's going to take. You can also, lastly, save this file out there on a network drive. Now it's just a simple text file and you can name it whatever you want. Performance check. And we'll just save it to our desktop and then we'll close. Now if we go to our desktop and we click on the performance check file that we just created it pulls up a simple text file that goes through all of the report information gleaned if you will this comes in handy when helping you document your crystal report on what it does and how big it is and how many fields it used and you know what its last performance was if you're dealing with large reports and even real complex reports I highly suggest that you at least check the performance and save one of these files out there occasionally just to stay on top of it